Let's take a look at how to create and record drum patterns in Live 4. For our example, we will use Live's Impulse Percussion Sampler found in Live's device browser, here. To add Impulse to your session, simply drag it from the browser and drop it in any MIDI track, or empty space next to the tracks. Next, select a drum kit from the preset recall in Impulse. To begin playing drums in Impulse, press the ARM recording button in the mixer on the very same track as Impulse. If you have a MIDI keyboard connected to the computer, notes played in the range of C3 to C4 will now trigger Impulse. As a convenience, Live also lets you play MIDI by using the computer keyboard. The keys in the center row of your keyboard, A, S, D, and so forth, automatically map to drum samples in Impulse. To record your drum performance, create a MIDI clip by double-clicking on any empty session slot in the same track as Impulse. Once a new clip appears, click its play button and start your drum performance. Every note you play will be captured in a one-measure MIDI clip. To give yourself a guide, you may also want to activate Live's metronome found in Live's control bar. You can continue to overdub as you like, and if necessary, erase any mistakes using Live's undo command. Live's record quantization corrects your performance as you record and can be found in Live's edit menu. If you'd like to keep your performance's original timing, set record quantization to no quantization. You can also quantize after you record, as we will soon see. First, however, let's learn to edit and draw patterns using Live's draw mode. To do this, click on the pencil icon in Live's toolbar and then click on any empty grid tile to create a new note. Clicking on an occupied tile will clear the note, while click dragging across multiple tiles will quickly fill or delete them, like this. To draw different rhythms, or change your editing quantization, change the grid density by holding Ctrl on a PC, or Apple on a Mac, and then pressing the number 1 key to double the density. The number 2 key will widen it, and the number 3 key will switch to triplets. The number 4 key will hide the grid. Remember to hold down the Ctrl key or the Apple key while pressing these numbers. You can now quantize any note to the current grid setting. Simply select the note you'd like to quantize, and then choose Quantize from Live's Edit menu. You can easily edit individual notes or select multiple notes by rubber band dragging while draw mode is off. To select all notes for a given drum, click on the white field next to its name, and then move these notes with the arrow keys. You can also adjust their velocity by holding down Ctrl on a PC, or Apple on a Mac and dragging up or down. Or you can simply draw the velocity curve for the entire pattern, like this. To extend your pattern, simply type in the desired loop length in the MIDI Clips Loop Editor. Now that you are familiar with creating MIDI patterns in Live, you will probably want to create more and more patterns. You can also continue overdubbing on top of any existing pattern. By learning to create and edit patterns, you can also quickly build bass lines, melodies, and harmonies. If you'd like some more practice, try the step-by-step -step tutorials included in Live 4 and the Live 4 demo. Check out the lessons files found in Live by selecting Creating Patterns from the Help menu.